How many cars are involved right now? Not mine. That's mine. All right, let's, let's, we need to get that off the road. All right, can we get that into the parking lot? He's, yeah. He's, we'll, we'll take we care of him, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to tell his father. So he, okay, well, we're him. in the middle of the highway. Oh, yes. so All right, can, can, you, can you move your car, please? Sure. Thank you. My man, is your car drivable? Yeah. All right, we're going to get it off to the side I, of the road, all right? All I'm saying is I can leave. I just want to tell his father. You don't have to leave. Just no, move I your car. Leave. I just want you to tell me. It's Are where? you okay? Yeah, I'm right, okay. Let's have a seat right over here. Is that your mom? No. No? I'm working. Can you please go sit in your car? You have nothing to do his with this. Father, suit. I he's understand. A minor. I'm an attorney. He's a, he's a minor. I'm. You need to tell me. Is he going to be here? I don't need to tell you anything. You I'm going to arrest you in a second if you don't get in your car. Do oh, you understand kidding. me? I'm not kidding you. You are kidding. You are impeding an investigation right now, and you're really bothering me. Which go I tell sit in your father. car. What I will talk I to him in a minute. Get in your car now. Tell, tell, take it. No, you do not touch me. Oh my God! Stop. What are you doing? Knock it off! Knock it off! Get your hands off me right now! Get your hands off! Yes! Yes, I do. The woman who just got arrested is Claire Hall, a lawyer in Rhode Island, who pulled over to help the drivers involved in a crash on Route 1 in South Kingston. Before the cops arrived, Hall offered to call one of the driver's parents to keep him updated about his condition and where paramedics would be taking him, but all of that meant absolutely nothing to these officers, since Hall didn't immediately and unquestionably comply with their orders. <laughs> Recording. recording. I'm wearing a body cam. Recording. I understand, but why am I under arrest? Because you weren't listening to anything you were saying. This is one of the most fundamental flaws of policing. Officers immediately and unnecessarily escalate the entire situation into much bigger issues solely because someone did not submit to their authority, regardless of whether whatever they were doing was illegal or not. How about you stop resisting? And you let us put you in handcuffs. My shoulder is dislocated and you're making it worse. Well, rescue can you. Yes. Oh my god. Sit up. Can you please call Bob Barber? Sit up. Call Bob Barber right now. Who is that? He's in Narragansett, please. Please call him. Well, we're not in Narragansett. I understand that. I cannot believe you. Take this <laughs> off me right okay, now. Okay, 50. I have one in custody. Oh, my God. And resisting. <gasps> oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. Yeah, you got to be kidding me. Stop. No. Stop talking. No. No. This, this is so ridiculous. I cannot even believe this. Man. Oh, my God. Let's go put her in my car. I just wanted to know. I could tell his father if he's going to the hospital. I'm not even involved in this. I can't believe this. That was our point the I whole time. I cannot believe this. That was our point the you whole time. You are not involved. Oh you are God. not involved. I'm a good Samaritan. We instructed you to do something. I'm a good and Samaritan. And you refused to do it. I'm a good Samaritan who stopped to help a kid. And maybe Let's go. Okay, stop growing. I'll get up on my own. You're crazy. Now. Oh my God, stop it. Yeah. 
This is so bad. Yeah. Why don't you bring her back? Get her out of here. Get her. I'm assuming that she's an attorney. She's got nothing. We'll get her. And she cut her loose. Right. And then, uh, go from that. Right. Yeah, I heard you guys. I heard you guys say one in custody. I'm like, oh, here we go. It was so, it was so unnecessary. That's right. Yeah. But, like, my tolerance for that is, like, I'm just, like, listen, it's you, you're not going to listen to what I'm saying. Highway. We're in the middle of the highway. Yeah. Get in your car and get off the highway. I, I, well, I was like, I still they're up, too, she starts screaming, like, belligerently. The kid was even more freaked out than anything. That works. You can get her out of here. Right. She calmed down a little bit, now. It's better than she was. I wonder how she'll be in the block, but somebody will be at the station to help me. Yeah, I'll, I'll head back. After her arrest, Claire Hall filed a suit against South Kingston Town Manager James Manny, Police Chief Matthew Moynihan, and arresting officers Matthew White and Anthony Souza, claiming that she was unlawfully arrested and assaulted by officers White and Souza during the arrest. Local news outlet Go Local Providence reports that Hall's lawsuit details how she was physically harmed after being forcefully thrown to the ground in addition to the psychological and emotional trauma from being arrested like she was. In total, Hall's lawsuit outlines 11 total violations that the officers committed, including civil rights violations, excessive force, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and malicious prosecution, to name a few. Interestingly, Officer White's official report on the arrest leaves out some key details like how he yelled at Hall to leave the scene and get back into her car, as well as lying about informing Hall she was being arrested while simultaneously painting her as the aggressor, blaming her for interfering with the crash investigation. White then allegedly told Hall while he was driving her to be booked that he stopped his body cam recording which Hall justifiably interpreted as a threat to her and that she must be on her best behavior while giving White more power over her than he already had. Hall's lawsuit is still in the very early stages, so we'll keep you posted once more transpires.